On August 6, 1945, a two-year-old girl from Japan named Sadako Sasaki was eating breakfast at home with her family when the United States dropped an atomic bomb on their city of Hiroshima, the first nuclear weapon ever to be used in warfare. Although Sadako was relatively uninjured and seemed to be a healthy kid growing up, she was later diagnosed with leukemia caused by radiation exposure from the blast. Even though she was given less than a year left to live, Sadako never lost her cheerful and optimistic nature. She used the money her family gave her to buy gifts for them. And when Sadako learned about a Japanese legend that says a person who folds a thousand origami cranes will have their wish granted, she began using anything she could find to fold them, hoping to one day be healthy again. But despite folding well over a thousand cranes in her hospital bed, she never got better and passed away from the disease at the age of 12 in 1955. Today, Sadako and her cranes have become an international symbol of peace, fighting for a world without nuclear weapons. With the recent threats of nuclear weapon use from Vladimir Putin, it is important now, more than ever, to spark meaningful conversations about the consequences of these weapons. It'd be amazing if you guys could help out and show your support for the cause by folding your own cranes on social media under the hashtag cranes for our future.